It's the loudest, most politically incorrect TV show on the planet. Everybody, come on in. It's time for Tommy's Garage. With your host, Tommy Atkins. Your mechanic, Rosie Rosencrantz. The Chocolate Thunder, Gavin Babineau. And Brittany Lee. With special guest, comedian Mike Rayo. Comedian Sam Griesbaum and Houston filmmaker Matthew Miller. I'm Matthew, the voice Gidry. It's time for Tommy's Garage. trying to escape America. He's wanted on bank fraud charges, not just any bank. Bank fraud specifically helped by Debbie Wasserman Schultz, head of the Democratic National Committee. It turns out he's on her payroll. He was her Democrat IT guy for years. He paid him millions, and a lot of it's illegal. Something stinks here, Rosie. Look, 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 he wasn't fleeing the country. He was just taking the first plane to Pakistan to go visit his mother's cave to help wipe her server clean, you know, like with the cloth. Oh my like with the cloth. Uh, <laughs> who are you kidding? They don't wipe anything clean in Pakistan with cloth. You know that. Uh, for four million dollars, this guy will. <laughs> He hired a whole gaggle of his Pakistani IT gaggle. Is that the right? Story? Yeah, gaggle. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, okay. And uh, it just and this just further proves that the Dems are not interested in creating American jobs, but they Ooh. especially American spy jobs. Yeah, but they will help one get elected. Yeah. 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 <laughs> this is an actual scandal that's been going on since January. The media has completely ignored it. This guy is currently being represented by a Clinton flack lawyer who's yes. doing it pro bono. The fourth estate is a fifth column and always yes. has been. Ooh, yes. That's, yes. 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 that's right. Yes. Look, this guy's lucky. Everybody else that deals with Debbie Wasserman Schultz and Hillary Clinton ends up committing a suicide with three bullets in the head. <laughs> so. Wait, wait, wait. I got I to report he just committed suicide yeah. tomorrow. Uh, oh, there we yeah. go. Right there. All right. In Washington, Jared Kushner testified in a secret session of the House. Here's what he had to say. My name is Jared Kushner. I am senior advisor to President Donald J. Trump. When my father-in-law decided to run for president, I served his campaign the best I could because I believe in him and his ability to improve the lives of all Americans. And now, serving the president and the people of the United States has been the honor and privilege of a lifetime. Ooh. Let me be very clear. I did not collude with Russia, nor do I know of anyone else in the campaign who did so. I had no improper contacts. I have not relied on Russian funds for my businesses. And I have been fully transparent in providing all requested information. Donald Trump had a better message and ran a smarter campaign. Correct. And that is why Amen. he won. There you go. Rosie, Jared Kushner speaks finally. Yeah. I know. Well, I, I think what happened with this Russian, this whole Russian thing was. Jared was misled. He thought he was meeting with Yakov Smirnov. <laughs> <laughs> this whole time he was being questioned by Trey Gowdy, and we love Trey, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. He's being questioned by Trey Gowdy, and he said no more times than a high school prom date. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and Trey Gowdy is a handsome individual. Yeah. He is very hard to say no to. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Still laughing at the Yakov Smirnov reference. <laughs> Soviet Russia, state colludes with you. <laughs> uh, am I the only one that every time I see this, this Jared kid, I expect him to have on a little beanie and wear short pants with a big lollipop? <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Donald says I didn't collude with nobody. That's how it works. <laughs> you know, we know now that Fusion GPS is behind the whole thing. Yeah, exactly. Look, did he do it? That's not the question. The big question is, how did this guy 
get to hook up with that chick. That's what I want to know. He must have a tongue like a rattlesnake. <laughs> he can lick his eyebrows, that's how. <laughs> Meanwhile, that chick's daddy is whining about Jeff Sessions every day. Big question, does Jeff Sessions stay or should he go, Rosie? Well, that, that Jeff Sessions old bastard probably grabbed Melania's ass. Oh. Wouldn't you? Yes. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. yeah, what the hell am I saying? <laughs> you, know, you know, Jeff was sitting there the whole time and was just going, this is kind of hurtful. And I'm just like, yeah, you uh, recusing yourself was kind of not helpful. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. You know what, though? It's nice. After eight years of kissy face between the administration and the Department of Justice during Obama, to actually have people that have some disagreements and balls and stand yeah. up yeah. for something. Yeah. That's a good point. That's a good one. I like that one. <laughs> Look, real people disagree. Who, who hired Jeff Sessions? Donald Trump. Correct. Yeah. Who hired Deputy, De uh, Deputy Attorney General Rosenstein, the guy who hired Robert Mueller? Obama. Don no, Donald Trump hired him. Oh. That's right. You right. rehired him. That's nice right. Try, now he's bitching about him. It's like it's like hiring Justin Bieber to like play your prom, uh, mm -hmm. uh, to play your bar mitzvah and they complain you don't like his music. It's like, look, Donald, this is my, stop being a bitch. Just fire them all. Yeah. Start yeah. over again. Yeah. Crying right. out loud. Look, jeez. I mean, this guy is such a total. It's stunning. <laughs> right. I never thought I'd play that for President Trump. But there you go. Just fire those bitches, Donald. Hell, in Texas, we shoot them. <laughs> this week, the Senate voted 5150 to begin debate on the health care bill. Then, they probably voted 4555 against the latest health care bill. Seven Republicans, uh, they, they voted for repeal last year and changed their vote this year, Rosie. Okay, they had eight years to plan this bill, okay? Eight years. The Constitution didn't take lo that long to write. <laughs> that what are they doing? Big bell right right there. Why do stupid Republicans get rid of them all and put new ones in there? Yeah. 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 I am so flabbergasted and just, just, just stunned. And, and I don't even know what to say. This story keeps coming back up, and I don't even know what to say about it. So you, most of you know I do impersonations, so I've come up with one. And this is, this is what I call the Tucker Carlson. Watching this go down. Yeah! <laughs> that was spot on. That was spot on. I'm telling you. It's like, I'm, can I have your autograph, Tucker? <laughs> what's, what's the difference between health care repeal and reform legislation and a six and a half pound kidney stone? You can pass a kidney stone. No. <laughs> yeah, look, there, might, there might be all sorts of shenanigans in Washington, but I guarantee those senators ain't no fool around with prostitutes. It takes them six months to agree on anything in Washington. It takes them for all the might to negotiate on all that. Like, <laughs> Democrats have announced their new platform for the coming elections. They're calling for a minimum wage hike and attacking corporations. It's called a better deal, Rosie. Yeah, and I think I've heard this better deal before. Better ingredients? Better pizza, Papa John's, <laughs> right? right? Right. Bigger taxes, bigger government, Tommy John's now. Ah. <laughs> that hey, is a big it's bubble. a good thing they stole this slogan from Papa John's because you know what last year's Pizza Hut slogan was? Make it great. And they couldn't use that again. No. <laughs> <laughs> yep, after eight years, they've announced a new agenda. They're all about jobs suddenly after, after eight years of destroying them. And they also want you to know they really love you, the check's in the mail, and they won't do that in your mouth. Yeah. Yeah. That's a third party out of state check, right? Yeah. yeah. I'm going tenderizer on that one. All right, first tenderizer. Look, we already have a better deal. This guy right here. Yeah. In Michigan, in Michigan, last week we reported Kid Rock was running for Senate. Guess what? In a head-to-head -head matchup, Kid Rock is four points up on the incumbent, Debbie Stabenow. He can win, Rosie. Yeah. Any rock could win. <laughs> any, rock, any rock would be an improvement over the idiots that they elected in Michigan. <laughs> and I'm predicting he's going to run with the rapper Lunas in, in about a less than a month, they're going to be going, we got five on it. Yeah. <laughs> Shake it, baby. Shake that moneymaker. There you go. Wow, you're good. Yeah, I, 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 I believe Rosie's right. I think at this point, a pet rock would be up by four. <laughs> 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 right. Look, so this. Can I'm with Rosie, too. <laughs> <laughs> Can entertainers win elections? Well, let's take a look. Arnold Schwarzenegger, Sonny Bono, Clint Eastwood, Donald Trump, Kid Rock. 
pretty good company. Yeah. yeah. They're all GOP, right? Well, let's look at yeah. the other team. <laughs> Jerry Springer, Al Lewis, <laughs> George Takai, Clay Aiken, Al Franken, Melissa Gilbert. Look, oh your team God. isn't wow. your team isn't smart, isn't funny, can't act, they can't even sing. Our team can make better movies, and we can even write our own theme song. So I, I like our team better, except I might get Rosie to convince Melissa Gilbert to switch parties, if you know what I mean. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah we yeah, need yeah, to. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking right Bring now. those hooters over to our party. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> Come on, Melissa. Make Matt Gidry's dream come true. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, say hello to Tommy's Garage announcer, Matthew Gidry. Matthew Gidry! What's, go what's coming up, Matthew? Hey, everybody. Are y'all having a good time? Yeah! Coming here with Labor, we have the Bigot Lottery and the Professionals. But next up, it's Worldwide Panic, only on Tommy's Garage! You locked your deadbolt, but this happened. Why? Because deadbolts do not prevent kick-ins. You need Armor City doors. There were over one million kick-in robberies in 2014 alone. But when deadbolts fail, Armor City doors protects. Guaranteed. 713-487-5539. Or stop by ArmorCityDoors.com. Remember, deadbolts do not stop kick-ins. But when deadbolts fail, you need Armor Armor City Doors. ArmorCityDoors.com. Healthcare system broken. The FDA broken. And the pharmaceutical industry is not there to help you. How can you give your body healthy, maximum performance naturally without chemicals and additives? EarthPatriots.com has found a natural solution. It's native to your body, crucial to your health. This product helps repair your cells and boosts your immune system, effectively slowing down the aging process. Stop by EarthPatriots.com. Come on, dude. You're supposed to be helping me clean the pool. You're going to get me in trouble again. Yeah, all right. I'm coming. Yeah, this is the big I'm not getting in trouble because of him again. I'm getting proof he's not working. Come on, man, we gotta clean the pool. They're shopping at Walmart riding horses and doing silly that. Is that crazy or what? That's right. Yeah, that's how I always shop. There we go. Oh, this water's freezing. Why were you watching that? It's so funny. I was watching the bigot lottery on Tommy's garage. Dude, you just made the bigot lottery. Ah! Hey, where can I get good local Pick news? Pick up the Bayou City Bowl. How about a good karaoke get bar? The Bayou City Bowl. Great nightclub. The Bayou City Bowl. A good ice the house. Bayou City Bowl. Dry cleaner. The Bayou City Bowl. Massage therapist. The Bayou City Bowl. Hair salon. The Bayou City Bowl. Nail salon. Nail salon. For a friend. Oh, and a bail bondsman. Wild night. For it's a for friend. a friend. Yeah. The Bayou City Bowl has local news, local entertainment, local businesses. It even has a joke page, coupons, and Houston calendar girls. Bay Town to Katy. Kingwood to Clear Lake. If you want to know what's going on, pick up a copy of the Bayou, Bayou City, City Bowl. Bowl. BayouCityBull.com and Twitter. Searches the entire world to find the most fascinating stories. Joining Rosie is our Major League Laugh Launcher, comedian Mike Rayo. And the guy who's shrinking one way, but he's always growing the other way, is Chocolate uh. Thunder, Gavin Babineau. Hello, hello. Hello. You know, seeing you three is a perfect introduction to the first story, because 
Paleontologists have done some serious research. <laughs> and guess what they found? Ancient humans had sex with other mysterious non-human species. I don't want to know exactly how they figured it out, but they figured it out, Rosie. Yeah, so was this ancient CNN fake news? Oh. Okay, enough, Tommy. Enough with, the, enough with the Hillary Clinton stories. Come on, I can't, I can't take them all, all these Hillary Clinton stories. Stop it, Tommy. I should be, I should be ashamed of myself. But yeah, you should be. Tommy's garage, so I can't be. Go ahead. Wait, can we all agree that this was Rosie's favorite topic ever? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Now, that and what he knows the most about, too. Yeah. Now, that being said, we already have aliens living amongst us. Johnny Depp, Marilyn Manson, <laughs> Elvis. Hey, he didn't die, he went home. Okay. Ah, yeah. that's a good point. Yeah. yeah. Sex with mysterious species, big deal. Mm. That's a weekend at Rosie's Ranch. Ah. Yeah. Now we're talking. <laughs> More fake news from the Crow Magazine. And, and girls, you can reach me at Tommy's Garage anytime. <laughs> So, so, so this is the story. So humans were screwing outside their species 10,000 years ago. I didn't know they had tequila back then. Oh! Yeah. Those were loincloth droppers. Who, who, who are they kidding? Who are they kidding? Debbie Wasserman Schultz is married. Yeah. Some, somebody's screwing her. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, look, how about something pretty? How about a new pickup truck? Mercedes-Benz is unveiling their latest car. It's a pickup truck. Yeah, first BMW introduced luxury, luxury pickups for 57 grand. Now Mercedes has a luxury pickup for 50 grand. We bet your wallet, Rosie. It's ready to go. Yeah, and I wonder if they're going to come out with a transgender car next uh, for people that don't know whether they want a blown gasket or a uh, a rough loop job. Oh, yeah. Rosie. Bro, did I get a hammer? Did I get, you just got a hammer. I just got a hammer on you that? You did. Rosie. It must have been the delivery. <laughs> you. Rosie, we already have Fiat. Jesus. Ah! Look, look. Don't do that while I'm drinking beer. I'll spit it all over you. Not the first time that you No. Said that. Oh, hey, hey, you weren't Woo. supposed to tell. Anyway, anyway. Besides the fact that it looks like a Honda Ridgeline got dragged yes. through a gay pride parade. Hey. Ah! Uh, yes. I will say this. It's a, get, look, it's not sold in the U.S., which sucks. Otherwise, bring it here, Tim Taylor it, drop in the twin turbo V12 from the S65. Ho, ho, ho. Yeah. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, brother. Okay. I don't know. Uh, German pickup truck. What's next? German country songs? <laughs> oh. I got one. I got oh, one. Oh, he's got one. Uh oh. Oh, got one. <laughs> Quiet. Oh, Lord. Won't you buy me a Mercedes truck? I'm just a good Nazi who's down on his luck. <laughs> Worked hard all my lifetime for the Third Reich. Oh, Lord, please don't make this fascist hitchhike. Ah! <laughs> well, back in the old days, we used Mercedes and BMW to spot the pretentious right? Now we have a way to spot the pretentious who have a little Yeah. Right? <laughs> well, China may not have muscle cars, but they have muscle dogs. Yeah, China, oh. that's a whip it. China released- Whip it good. It's, it's, they, you're, <laughs> they revealed their latest science project, Test Tube Doggies, Rosie. Yeah, and, Ob and Barack Obama's mouth is watering for uh, seeing oh. these dogs. China, they'll break in two days and you can't get parts for them anyway. Oh, oh, well, you didn't like the mouth watering ouch. joke? Come you on, gotta, you gotta hammer out of that. All right, ouch, ouch, you were on it with that flaming shirt. So, <laughs> I'll say uh, this. I found it in your closet, head. it wouldn't fit me, buddy. Oscar Meyer's gonna like this. So, <laughs> so, they want to make superhumans next, and in case you haven't noticed. We already have them. It's called the NBA, the NFL. <laughs> but I, I just want to know, is it going to be really tough for me to chew on my General Joe chicken now? Oh! oh. I don't know. That is a tenderizer. <laughs> Literally and figuratively. Yeah. Uh, it's going to need it. <laughs> I don't know, Gavin. Chinese Superman, <laughs> brought to you by the same culture that uses the chopstick. You know they've seen a fork. I'm not worried. <laughs>
<laughs> and next, they're going to make test tube humans with superhuman powers. I guarantee the first place we're going to find them is in Houston massage parlors. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> then again, some of us prefer doing it the old-fashioned way. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Unfortunately, less of us are doing it at all. Americans are having less sex. Rosie, what's wrong? Well, have you right. seen the women in, in the United States lately? Go park outside a Walmart or a grocery store uh, and, and watch all the women walking out. All they're missing is hooves. <laughs> that is a oh. bell and a half. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's why Rosie doesn't get laid around here. Uh, yeah, because I have high it. standards. I don't, I don't like my women with hooves. Good God. <laughs> all right, okay, okay, fine, fine. Look, married men, if you're mad because you're not having enough sex, do the dishes. Help your kids get to bed early, buy your wife something slutty, and go to Pound Town, okay? There you go. You know, Simple. That's, yeah. And quit watching porn by yourself. <laughs> Invite the wife in there. Six shades of day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry I was taking some notes there. <laughs> less, uh, less sex, not on this panel. You got the... Uh, Tommy, who goes for the crazy side of the hot crazy matrix. Yeah. Uh, Rosie would screw a pile of rocks if he thought there was a snake under it. <laughs> and I have. Gavin, uh, Gavin, well, he's black, so. Uh, and I've Hold been, the hole. I've been whoa, married whoa. 36. Wow. I've been married 36 years, so I'm the only one on this panel not having more sex. <laughs> <laughs> you, you cured your sex problem, you got married. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You know, in the 40s, we won World War II, and we called them the greatest generation. In the 60s, we had the hippie generation. The 70s had the flower children. The 80s and 90s were Generation X. Now, in 2017, millennials are the monkey spanking generation. Yeah. <laughs> so you can see the direction we're heading in. You know, like, hey, hey, kids, all you millennials out there, are you proud? Great job. You're now the monkey spanking generation. <laughs> Ouch. Well, speaking of juvenile delinquents in Colorado, a storekeeper discovered his front windows were smashed. The police got involved. They looked at the, at the surveillance videos. It turned out it was a gang of kids. You want to see the video? Yeah. yeah. Look at these. Look at this. <laughs> oh. He gets it. Look at the, and look at the kids in the background. Look. Look at those kids. Yeah. <laughs> He's not done yet. He's coming back for for for, for the second half. Oh, there we go. <laughs> he thinks about it. He thinks it harder, and then, oh, there he goes. <laughs> what? <laughs> Rosie, that's a bad gang of goats. Yeah, and when the poli and when the police description came out, it sounded like Matt's girlfriends. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, hey, but I bet a Mexican with a grill could put a happy ending into this story. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wait a minute. Whoa. If ISIS is sending their girlfriends to do the dirty work, who are they going to have sex with? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> exactly. They did catch one of the culprits, but the uh, ringleader still at large, Matt. Oh! oh! Matthew oh. Gidry. Uh, no Why are they dissing on you, Matt, with your goats? You did say Gidry, right? There's no yeah. thing. <laughs> they did leave some DNA evidence behind. You've, you've already seen. Here it is, the DNA. They got. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of behinds, let's say hello to Matthew Gidry. Matthew, what's coming up next, buddy? Yeah! Not my paycheck. <laughs> oh. Later we have the professionals, but next, it's your favorite nighttime remedy for bad TV. It's the Bigot Lottery coming out on Tommy's Garage! Healthcare system broken. The FDA broken. And the pharmaceutical industry is not there to help you. How can you give your body healthy, maximum performance naturally without chemicals and additives? EarthPatriots.com has found a natural solution. It's native to your body, crucial to your health. This product helps repair your cells and boosts your immune system, effectively slowing down the aging process. Stop by Earth. Patriots.com. You locked your deadbolt, but this happened. 
Why? Because deadbolts do not prevent kick-ins. You need Armor City Doors. There were over 1 million kick-in robberies in 2014 alone. But when deadbolts fail, Armor City Doors protects. Guaranteed. 713-487-5539. Or stop by ArmorCityDoors.com. Remember, deadbolts do not stop kick-ins. But when deadbolts fail, you need Armor Armor City Doors. ArmorCityDoors.com. Hey, where can I get good local news? Pick up the Bayou City Bull. How about a good karaoke get bar? The Bayou City Bull. Great nightclub. The Bayou City Bull. A good ice house. The Bayou City Bull. Dry cleaner. The Bayou City Bull. Massage therapist. The Bayou City Bull. Hair salon. Bayou City Bull. Nail salon. Nail salon. For a friend. Oh, and a bail bonds. Wild night. It's for a friend. friend. Yeah. The Bayou City Bull has local news, local entertainment, local businesses. It even has a joke page, coupons, and Houston calendar girls. Baytown to Katy. Kingwood to Clear Lake. If you want to know what's going on, pick up a copy of the Bayou, Bayou City Bull. Bull. BayouCityBull.com And Twitter. Hey, what are you doing? I'm uh, tweeting. Tweeting? What's that? It's Twitter. Twitter? What's Twitter? Tweet. Tweet. You don't tweet? I, I fart. Is that the same thing? Come on, dude. You're supposed to be helping me clean the pool. You're going to get me in trouble again. Yeah, all right. I'm coming. I'm not getting in trouble because of him again. I'm getting proof he's not working. Come on, man, we gotta clean the pool. <laughs> Why are you watching this? So funny. He's watching the bigot lottery on Tommy's garage. Dude, you just made the bigot lottery. Ah! of the idiot and thus embarrassing everybody in the process joining rosie and gavin is the lovely and ever-changing Brittany lee hey hey matt what's the scoreboard look like buddy <laughs> we don't have to worry about these idiots rosie is running away with it at 22 uh, holding fast Brittany. Brittany is at 15. Go, girl. You've got this. Yeah, girl. Gavin, 18. Not bad, but you're still sucking Rosie's hind breast bottom. Oh, it's disgusting. And that ain't easy to do. Yeah. We're and a lot of people line up to Be do it, too. Believe me, I don't know. All right, listen, folks. Next week, we add up all the scores, and you're the winner for our quarter. This is the last week before the, the end. So this is the, you have this show and the next show. So what we're doing is... For the next two shows, it's, 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 it's a pretty, pretty tough enough. Two points for everyone, Ooh. right or wrong. Oh. Two points. Why? Because I'm the head of the damn thing. I feel like making out the wrong. So, it's a Tommy's Garage panel. Are you ready to play the yeah. lottery? Yeah. It's a Tommy's Garage audience ready to play the lottery. Yeah. All right. Yeah. You folks in TV land, you can play Good the big lottery too. Yes. Let's all play the big lottery in Oregon, the Beaver State. Oh. Yeah. Right. A right. woman right. was giving her kids a ride in a little red wagon, but she was too tired to pull it for herself, so she improvised. Uh, I had ride in her car. Uh, yes, police said the mom was driving up to 30 miles an hour, dragging the kids all around the town. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. She's now parked in the Springfield, Oregon Municipal Jail. White, black, Hispanic, or Asian, Rosie. Drag queen. Woo! Uh, audience shout out. White, black, drag queen. Well, it is Oregon. Black. It is. Who has a little red wagon anymore? Asian. Asian. Yeah, that sounds like a white.
white guy. I'm going to so, go with uh, salty Rosie American. Goes white, Gavin. Damn it, Rosie. Uh, what? He's the All right, so look. I guess this is free range parenting going wrong. But, yeah. but I'm going to say salty and American as well. Whoa! All right. Gavin goes white. Come on, Rick. Brittany. <sighs> there to be different girls, just like that hair. Yes. Well, it could be tiger momish, so I would maybe go Asian, but I'm going to have to go with the rest of the panel yeah, on white right, because yeah, pretty, uh, that was like a practice. safety wagon. Exactly. It wasn't the original radio flyer, you know? <laughs> what do you guys think out here? Is she kind of chubby? Because I can't tell. I'll tell you, I, I uh, think these guys are looking for her number already. Somewhere in the world, a woman, a woman discovered she was pregnant. She also discovered her husband was cheating on her. Whoa. So she got together with a few girlfriends, and they made a plan. They kidnapped the mistress, tied her down, and shoved red hot chili peppers up her hoo-ha! Oh! oh Revenge! White, black, Hispanic, or Asian, Rosie. Wow! Who would shove red hot chili peppers up her hoo-ha? I think I know someone much. Yeah, I know a couple. I know a couple girls that could do that. Oh, and uh, it's either Hispanic or Asian. Hispanic. Hispanic. Go with Asian. Amish. I'm gonna go with Asian. All right, Rosie goes Asian. Gavin. Wait, are they talking about the peppers or the or the band? The band. <laughs> I'm just and if you could fit the whole band in that hoo-ha, I wouldn't date her. Then I've already Some been in there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. Be he said Asian, right? Yeah. Screw you. I'm going Hispanic. Oh! Yeah. Gabby goes Hispanic. Brittany. Can I buy a vowel? What kind of peppers were those? Because <laughs> that would really help me here. Um, I'm gonna go with hot peppers and like ghost peppers. All right. Uh, uh, Hispanic. 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 Well, what do you guys think out here? Hispanic. Okay, please be Asian. Hispanic. 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 Let's be the red hot lover. Say hello to Lisa. Oh. you kiss him, if he has hot lips, you know where they were. Woo! Woo! Groceries, baby. Uh, in Patterson, New Jersey, a woman was apparently not happy with the ex-husband. So when he came to drop off the kids, she did what every unhappy ex-wife would do. She beat his car with a hammer. Yeah. Yeah. Broke the windows, dented the fenders, and smashed every window, every fender, with the kids still inside the car. Oh. Black, Hispanic, Indian Dot, or Pacific Islander, Rosie. Oh, I'm going with uh, Brittany Lee on this one to go to go first. Oh, oh Brittany. Brittany. Oh, well, to be fair, um, I've seen a lot of white girls do this, so and they're oh, yeah. on the, the roster there. I'm gonna go with black. Ooh, yeah. Brittany goes yeah. black. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna pull the black card on this one. <laughs> wait, yeah, isn't, isn't that my job? No. Oh, wait, wait, I'm sorry. I'm, third chair. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm in the back of the bus. I'm sorry. The they took the black card away from me already. <laughs> uh, I'm real you black. You, you shredded that black card about 20 years ago. Hey, please. Hey, I still have the. Okay. You're the fat card. <laughs> uh, this has got to be my people. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, right. I mean, that just sounds. Yeah, black. Showing me on the dark side. Rosie, <laughs> we, we have Pat Patterson, New Jersey. Oh, in Patterson, New Jersey. Patterson, New Jersey. Yeah. Hammer, New Jersey. Black. Car windows. Yeah. Black. 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 Come on. Yeah, I'm going to go black too. Right. Yeah. What do you guys think out here? Black. 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 I guess you could call her an ex wife beater. Let's meet her. She's unidentified, but we have the video. Sometimes a little crazy, you know? Yeah. And last, in Florida, an angry, crazy driver was starting trouble on the freeway. What? He was tailgating, waving a loaded gun at other cars. Police pulled him over and discovered he had a Glock 22. They also discovered he was a man of the clock. He was a preacher man, an angry, crazy, holy man with a Glock 22. Oh my God. But what kind of preacher was he? Oh, no. Oh, yeah. An angry Episcopalian priest. An angry Buddhist master, an angry Muslim imam, or an angry Jewish rabbi, Rosie. <laughs> wow! I was gonna, I was already for white, black, Asian, Hispanic. I was 
ready for that. You can still break it up like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you um, Okay. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm going to go with the Jewish rabbi on this oh, one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gavin. I mean, is this what happens when the priest can't get any? <laughs> oh, That's some serious. So I'm gonna say <laughs> Episcopalian. Ooh, you okay, oh. Episcopalian is married? Yes. Yes. Ooh, so he's. But, you, but apparently, he remember, Americans are having less sex. Okay, all right, that makes this a good point. That means a married Episcopalian. <laughs> our, le our last contestant, Brittany. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go with Episcopalian. Ooh. Wow. What do you guys think out here? Wow. Rabbi. 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 The god of Glock. It's Father William Rian Adams. Yeah. 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 Who had it? Who had it? This could be you. All right. Okay. Well, that wraps up the big lottery. I know. Let's check out the think. scores. Matthew, how do we do? Okay. Rosie's holding fast at 26 now. <laughs> Brittany has 19. <laughs> and Gavin is at 20 now. 22. 22. All right. Okay. How'd you, right. how'd you guys do out here? Anybody get them all? Garage. Tommy, now that we've thoroughly embarrassed ourselves, why stop now? <laughs> <laughs> the professionals are next, only on Tommy's Garage! You locked your deadbolt, but this happened. Why? Because deadbolts do not prevent kick-ins. You need armor, city, doors. There were over one million kick-in robberies in 2014 alone. But when deadbolts fail, armor, city, doors protects. Guaranteed. 713-487-5539. Or stop by armorcitydoors.com. Remember, deadbolts do not stop kick-ins. But when deadbolts fail, you need armor. Armor City Doors. ArmorCityDoors.com. Healthcare system broken. The FDA broken. And the pharmaceutical industry is not there to help you. How can you give your body healthy, maximum performance naturally without chemicals and additives? EarthPatriots.com has found a natural solution. It's native to your body, crucial to your health. This product helps repair your cells and boosts your immune system, effectively slowing down the aging process. Stop by EarthPatriots.com. Hey, where can I get good local news? Pick up the Bayou City Bull. How about a good karaoke get the bar? Bayou City Bull. Great nightclub. Bayou City Bull. A good ice house. The Bayou City Bull. Dry cleaner. The Bayou City Bull. Massage therapist. Bayou City Bull. Hair salon. Bayou City Bull. Nail salon. Nail salon. For a friend. Oh, and a bail bonds. Wild night. It's for a friend. friend. Yeah. The Bayou City Bull has local news, local entertainment, local businesses. It even has a joke page, coupons, and Houston calendar girls. <laughs> Baytown to Katy. Kingwin to Clear Lake. If you want to know what's going on, pick up a copy of the Bayou, Bayou City Bull. Bull. BayouCityBull.com and Twitter. Hey, what are you doing? Uh, I'm tweeting. Tweeting? What's that? It's Twitter. Twitter? What's Twitter? Tweet. Tweet. You don't tweet. I, I fart. Is that the same thing? Yes, Tommy's Garage brings in three entertainment professionals, sometimes voluntarily. And we demand they comment on our stories to gain their freedom. Joining us is national professional comedian Mike Rayo. Yeah. 
stories for you to start out with and our first story is interesting someone once worked for Madonna they stole a hairbrush of a love letter from Tupac Shakur and a pair of Madonna's panties Ew. 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 Yeah. and they tried to sell them at an auction but Madonna found out and a judge stopped the proceedings in like just in the nick of time yeah he stopped the proceedings to prevent the spread of herpes and chlamydia <laughs> Like a like a virgin? No, like a. <laughs> <laughs> Try that, censors. Yeah. <laughs> They'll get it. Sadly. Yeah. Actually, I think it was the EPA that stopped the sale. <laughs> 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 this not, not because of disease, just because they were afraid somebody get some kind of DNA material and they'd start cloning her. And we thought, <laughs> oh, oh God, no. <laughs> This reminds me of an episode of SpongeBob that I was watching earlier, except that I'm pretty sure down in Madonna's bikini bottom, there's a little bit more than a Krusty Krab. Wow. So you got Madonna's hairbrush, love letters, and her panties. It's not an auction list, that's a biohazard list. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Next up, Roger Waters is the bass player for Pink Floyd. Right now, he's touring America. At every show, he spends half an hour telling everyone he hates Donald Trump. <laughs> Look, I don't go to, I don't buy concert tickets to attend political rallies. Yep. Shut up and sing. Yeah. Yes! yes. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. Uh, we, we understand that your sense of wonder has allowed you to make a comfortable living by being creative, but uh, you're basically a large infant, and you need to quit. You're lost. Get over it. There you yeah. go. Yeah. If you guys like the music of Pink Floyd, which I think, do we all like the music of Pink Floyd? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Back when they actually talked against the system that now apparently he wants to ingratiate, right? Yeah. Right. So, that all said, I'd like to take this moment to plug December 9th at Warehouse Live here in Houston, the best Pink Floyd tribute band in the world, in the world, us and them will be playing. They're buddies of mine, my roommate, yeah. old roommate. We'll go, see go and give them your money. As for spending any money for this Delete it. There you yeah. go. Beep. As in giving this guy any money, you you're comfortably dumb. There you go, yes. Yeah. Yeah. No. Look, no, look Roger, Roger Waters is an idiot. He writes songs about how an oppressive government crushes the human spirit. And then he supports oppressive governments that crush the human spirit. Like, exactly. Look, besides, he's a bass player. You want to know how stupid those guys are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Not me. No, no, I'm different, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. But if we're talking about rock stars, why not Justin Bieber? Yeah. yeah. Well, Justin was just about to tour China, but a funny thing happened. China told him to stay home. The Chinese government said they wanted to purify their nation, Mike. I love you, Justin. Yeah, I don't know who I, uh, who I hate more, the Chinese censors or the lucky Chinese citizens that don't have to listen to Justin Bieber. <laughs> What does it say about your system of governance when you find Justin Bieber and Winnie the Pooh to be some kind of mortal threat? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <Bull> bother. <laughs> it, 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 I, I couldn't agree more. And I mean, if they're censoring little boys and they're bears now, Me. what's next? These two? <laughs> oh, oh I, sense, I sense them right away for sure. Yuck. <laughs> right. Uh, next one, dude. There we go. Let's see, a nation that, that boils dogs alive for dinner and whose best export is dirty little prostitutes refuses to accept Justin Bieber for two weeks, right? Yeah. Actually, actually, that makes sense, I think. What's worse than boiling dogs alive? Justin Bieber. Yeah. That, that makes sense to me, okay. In other news, this is the USS Gerald R. Ford, our latest aircraft carrier. It has great weapons, great airplanes, a great radar system, a great crew. Guess what it doesn't have? A launch system. Urinals. <laughs> the bathrooms are unisex, toilets only, Mike. Wow. Yeah, actually, now a sailor can be court martialed for forgetting to put the seat down. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> pee on the seat. Well, it, it, <laughs> they'll lick it off. <laughs> it makes sense because they they built the ship thinking that they might have to go to China and pick up Justin Bieber. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> you know the only reason they did this is because Caitlyn Jenner is about to go do a USO tour and then he's real excited. <laughs> they are real excited. <laughs> USO tour. I thought they were making her an admiral. <laughs> <laughs> Look, they, uh, turns out they just changed the name of the ship. Now the USS Village People. <laughs> <laughs> and last in Seattle, Washington, a man crashed his car into a parking garage. Police arrested him for DUI. Alcohol? No. Cocaine? No. Maruhuchi? No. Police arrested him for driving under the influence of Viagra. <laughs> he admitted he took five Viagra pills, so they arrested him, Mike. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He was also arrested for carjacking, too, so. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Oh, you knew that was coming! That's that was crazy. too easy. That was too he easy. He had a film for Rosie, too. Apparently, apparently he was driving a 98 Priapism. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, they say if it lasts more than four hours, you're supposed to tell somebody. That's why he had the wreck. He was talking on the phone. It lasted a half hour. He was telling everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Grandma, guess what? <laughs> <laughs> Want to know how I dialed the phone? <laughs> Guess how I'm steering the car. <laughs> I'm just going to put the cap on this because we all know the law. You don't drive after you've had a stiff one. Oh! <laughs> Another one. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, that's a lot of the jokes. First, the first time was he was driving flawlessly without his hands on the wheel. <laughs> and he was shifting with the wrong stick. <laughs> let's hit that soft bump. Let's hit it right now. <laughs> hey, Mariah Carey's on her Las Vegas tour before she retires. Did you guys hear about that? Nope. No. You want to see a photo? Yeah. No. Oh. Hey. Hey. Yes. Hey, who did she it's swallow? It's the, hey. it's the Mariah Carey Goodbye Vegas tour. I, th I thought it was a, the Mariah Carey Hello Dairy Queen tour. <laughs> <laughs> the tickets now say hey, BBW. Hey, Matthew Gitchy, would you still kiss Mariah Carey? Would you yeah. kiss her? Anywhere she asked me to kiss her. I'd kiss every inch of that beautiful baby. Mm. Come on, girl. That might take a little while, though. Oh. Oh. I do have to work tomorrow. <laughs> it's time to wrap up the show. We are going to do How to Fix America. Only on Tommy's Garage! I'm not getting in trouble because of him again. I'm getting proof he's not working. Come on, man, we gotta clean the pool. Why are you watching It's so funny. Who's watching the bigot lottery on Tommy's garage? Dude, you just made the bigot lottery. Ah! You locked your deadbolt, but this happened. Why? Because deadbolts do not prevent kick-ins. You need Armor City doors. There were over one million kick-in robberies in 2014 alone. But when deadbolts fail, Armor City doors protects. Guaranteed. 713-487-5539. Or stop by ArmorCityDoors.com. Remember, deadbolts do not stop kick-ins. But when deadbolts fail, you need Armor City Doors. ArmorCityDoors.com. Hey, where can I get good local Pick news? Pick up the Bayou City Bull. How about a good karaoke get bar? The Bayou City Bull. Great night the Bayou City Bull. A good ice the house? Bayou City Bull. Dry cleaner. The Bayou City Bull. Massage therapist? The Bayou City Bull. Hair salon. Bayou City Bull. Nail salon. Nail salon. For a friend. Oh, and a bail bond. Wild night? It's for a friend. friend. Yeah. The Bayou City Bull has local news, local entertainment, local businesses. It even has a joke page, coupons, and Houston calendar girls. Baytown to Katy. Kingwood to Clear Lake. If you want to know what's going on, pick up a copy of the Bayou, Bayou City Bull. Bull. BayouCityBull.com and Twitter. Healthcare system broken. The FDA broken. And the pharmaceutical industry is not there to help you. How can you give your body healthy, maximum performance naturally without chemicals and additives? EarthPatriots.com has found a natural solution. It's native to your body, crucial to your health. This product helps repair your cells and boosts your immune system, effectively slowing down the aging process. Stop by EarthPatriots.com.
fix America. Uh, we're going to have President Trump investigate John McCain, Lindsey Graham, Mitch the Turtle McConnell for child sex trafficking and human trafficking, and maybe we'll put them all out of business. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that's like mean. I've figured out a way to make politicians and press honest. What we need is every time there's any kind of press conference, we need to have them hooked up to a polygraph machine, and we also need to have tasers standing by. Yeah! yeah. I like that. Well, I don't know about America in general, but I think we need to take David Gilmore and Sid Barrett, bring him back from the dead, and have them kick Roger Waters' ass. Oh! <laughs> I like that. Um, and then maybe let Rand Paul do the health care thing, because he's kind of a doctor. I like, yeah, we should let Rand he Paul. He has one. It's one page. We should let Rand Paul sing no, no. Pink Floyd. Ron, Ron Paul, uh, that was just Rand Paul has a one-page health care, and it's perfect. All right, all right. You can do Roger Waters. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. You guys know the gang of goats? The gang of goats that smash those windows? Yeah. yeah. I'm going to bring them to Washington and set them loose in the Senate. And if a Republican doesn't vote to appeal Obamacare, they got a goat butt right up the ass. Yeah. That's how you're going to fix America. You like that? Yeah. All right. Yeah. That wraps up Tommy's Garage of the Week. You guys have a good time. Yeah. Yeah. Let's take our panel with Rosie Rosencrantz. It's time to close the garage, but we'll be back next week with another great show. And by the way, I have a cute video I'm going to show you guys next week, just letting you know. Yeah. So remember, yeah. pull up a chair, pop open a beer. It's time for Tommy's Garage, live from Houston, Texas. Yeah! yeah. She's looking at me. <laughs> you too, I see. Yeah. You already know, though. <laughs> Once you've had fat, darling, you never go back. <laughs> Not with that crushed pelvis, she won't. No, no, no. I know what women want. 
I do, I do. They check us out, they check us guys out, don't they guys? Big hands. I can palm a basketball in either hand. Big nose, big feet, size 13. Big disappointment, that's all. right? A middle-aged, 400-pound fat man. <laughs> they don't dream about me. They have nightmares about me. Let's be... <laughs> ah, so I was late getting here. I was supposed to go on earlier, but I, uh, I got pulled over by the cops. Oh. Happens to me, too. Sorry. <laughs> It's nine o'clock, we can get, you know, it's time to get serious here. Well, let me tell you what happened. I was wearing a white shirt, cop thought my airbag went off. That's wrong, right? It's wrong. Yeah. Fat lives matter, fat lives. Who's with me, who's with me, yeah. Where are my big people at? By applause, where are my fat people at? That's good, we got an honest crowd here tonight. I love that. I love that. Well, here's what I don't understand, though. I, I have a philosophy, just be fat and be happy. Am I right? Yeah. But we can't do that. We join groups like Overeaters Anonymous. Hey, how do you keep this anonymous? How do you do that? Huh? I mean, you, you're fit, look at you. You go to the gym all the time. You can wear jewelry that goes below your belly button and still see it, right? <laughs> if I told you, you look like an ass, if I told you, you know, I had an eating disorder, you wouldn't tell anybody, would you? <laughs> but they're still gonna find out. <laughs> Where are my alcoholics at? <laughs> oh. See, but I hate you guys. I hate you guys, you guys, because you can lie about your addiction. That's true. That's so wrong. It's so true. You got a joke for me over there? You guys had a little bit too much to drink? Hey, by the way, uh, give it up for your uh, waiters and waitresses. They've been working hard for you. Yeah. Uh, especially Renee, where's Renee? Renee in here, who's, who's got Renee? Uh, tip her real good, because Renee just had a baby uh, taken away by the county. <laughs> she needs that tip money. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. She's never getting that kid back. <laughs> So you guys like it sitting in the front, don't you? You do, don't you? You do, I can tell. I have a bladder infection, so I'm gonna stand back here. 